After months of trying, you and your partner are overwhelmed with joy when you finally find out you're going to have a baby. At your first ultrasound, you're excited to see your baby for the first time. However, excitement quickly turns to dread when the doctor says they think something could be wrong. Unable to give you any definitive answers, they send you home with a referral for an appointment that is weeks away. These weeks feel like years and the anxiety is unbearable. You feel helpless knowing that your baby may be sick and there is nothing you can do but wait. After what feels like an eternity, you're finally able to speak to the specialist, but their answers confirm your worst fears. Your baby's lungs are underdeveloped and their abdominal organs have herniated into their chest through a hole in the diaphragm. If they survive until birth, they'll undergo invasive surgery and be placed on life support. Your baby has congenital diaphragmatic hernia, or CDH, and there's more than a 30% chance that they're going to die before you can hold them for the first time. And by the end of today, 15 new families just like yours will face the harsh reality that their baby with CDH will die, all because we didn't know until it was too late. I am going to change that. What if your doctor could put your worries at ease or prepare you for the worst with a more accurate test? The answer is in circular RNAs. We've discovered that an abundance or deficiency of these small ring-like structures can identify CDH several months before birth. They can also predict if a baby with CDH would benefit from prenatal therapy by helping their lungs grow and giving them a better chance at a normal life. I aim to explore the use of circular RNAs to monitor and diagnose underdeveloped lungs in the fetus. Bayscope is a simple and reliable technique used in the lab to detect circular RNAs in tissues. Recently, we've adapted Bayscope to detect circular RNAs in amniotic fluid, bringing circular RNA detection from the lab to the clinic with a simple three-step process as I've outlined on my slide. Starting to the left, the first step is to take a small sample of amniotic fluid during pregnancy. Second, circular RNAs that are associated with the birth defect are isolated and detected with a highly specific visible marker. And lastly, levels of circular RNAs are measured, allowing for the diagnosis of any potential developmental problems. My goal is to confirm the differences in circular RNA levels between the amniotic fluid of healthy babies and CDH babies with our new liquid biopsy, but this is just the beginning. These first steps will allow us to branch out into point-of-care diagnostics without the need for expensive, highly specialized equipment, making this effective tool accessible to families all around the world. An unreliable diagnosis used to mean an all-too-early end to a new family and the life of their child. But with circular RNA diagnostics, I plan to bring new beginnings in this circle of life.